What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the Crew Motor Fest. In this video, we'll be customizing the Charger Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. So this car was not available in the Crew 2, but it is available in the Crew Motor Fest or the Crew 3, whatever you want to call it. Um, so in the other game, the only Charger we had was, let's go here to Brand, let's go down here to Dodge. So this was the only Charger we had was this one, the 2012. Um, which was kind of sad we never had the newer model so finally in this game we do and we have pretty much the best <laughs> of that one which is the red eye so absolutely awesome so i already um well i didn't buy it i, I got it with the gold edition of the game but um let's go ahead and see the customization options so first thing first things first we have manufacturer colors um so you have all of them here all different manufacturer colors it looks like mango i think like Tor Red, Octane Red, probably my favorite color for the Charger other than black. Oh, Hell Raisin, that's a great color too. The blue, FA Green. We got Gold Rush. Oof, that looks sick. Hmm. Octane Red. I'm leaning towards the Octane Red. That's a beautiful color. Yeah, let's go with the Octane Red. Yes. Okay, visual parts. So we got Hood. You can do a carbon stock, or you can do like a weird stripe. Hmm. I think I'm probably going to do the livery editor. I'm probably going to do the uh, black hood roof and trunk. So we'll skip that. Um, continuing to front bumper. Oh, you got the snorkel grill. That's, I think that's from like the 2018 Charger Hellcat, I think, and also the scat packs. Okay. You got different headlights. And you got like a full, like, Oh, like a different style upper grill. Different the one there. Then you got the oh wow, this changes like the lower um, corner vents. Okay. Interesting. It looks more aggressive for sure. And this one changes the corner vents like in body color with like a carbon front splitter. This one does the snorkel grill, okay. And then it's a different splitter. So, okay, I see. Wow. Ooh, this lip looks really... This is probably my favorite lip for this car so far. Oh, they don't have the different corner vent with this lip. That kind of sucks. I really wish... I mean, in the Crew 2, that was probably one of my biggest gripes was the fact that you couldn't... Um, well... They had so many parts tied to one category. It was kind of annoying. I wish they would just separate them all. I think that'd be a lot better. Like headlights, grill, um, splitters. You know, that, I think that'd be a lot better. Uh, but yeah, hmm. I mean, this one's not bad. I just really like this. Where is it? Where is it? This splitter. I guess I'll probably go with this the snorkel grill style. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. Front fender, we got carbon, and then that. So you might be wondering, what's the difference between this and this? Well, if I do this, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just even wider, which is kind of wild. I mean, the car, it's it's already kind of uh, wide, and then this this is just and that's that's insane. You can go even wider than what you already have. It's like a double wide body. <laughs> I mean, might as well. Whatever, I guess. All right. Wheels, you got the stock wheels here. You got these. This is also like an option, and then you got these. Hmm, they are missing some wheels though. But man, I love I love these with like the. I actually have these on my personal Hellcat right now. Um, there's something about these wheels that I really like. These are also nice. So are these, but these are just look so good. I, I think I might keep those. Um, caliper color. Okay, I'd definitely go like red. Make a little bit of a darker red. Go like there, I guess. Okay. Now you can't change the stock wheels, um, at least not to my knowledge. You have to buy one of these to change to change the color. So yeah, okay. Um go back to this. Okay, mirrors. So you can do carbon mirror. It looks like I think. Alright, why not? Skirts, you have carbon stock. And then this one adds the skirt. Okay. I guess it kind of matches our front lip, I suppose. 
All right, why not? Let's do that. We're doing the typical mods Mopar owners do to their chargers. And then the rear, of course, we gotta have the wider, the wider wide body. Say that three times really fast. The, the wider wide body uh, for the front and rear. That looks absolutely insane. It looks good though, not bad. Rear wing, you got the stock wing. You can make it carbon. Then you have different larger spoilers for those of you who like that. What the heck is this? That's weird. <laughs> weird design there. And then a drag wing. I guess if you want like a drag setup. Um, I guess I'll go with a carbon. Yo. Rear bumpers. Oh, you got the tinted tail lights. Again, this should that should be a separate option. I don't know why that's a bumper upgrade, but okay. Um, ooh, nice dual exit exhaust setup. I like that. Got the carbon diffuser with the stock exhaust. What the heck is this? That's different. Oh, and then this one adds a vent in the middle. Okay. It doesn't look bad, though. I actually kind of like that. I think I might go with this one. Different ones here. Oh, this one. Oh, this is the one with the tinted tail lights. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go with this one here. Interior. Ooh. So you got the red. And, of course, stock is black. You got the brown, you got a darker brown, gray, white, blue, and yellow. Um, if you're gonna go black, uh, I from the crew too. This is a tip I always gave. Um, I recommend doing this, and then in here you can change the style, and then you can reduce it to just stitching by itself. Look at that. See, so it's just interior stitching. So depending on what contrast you're doing, I recommend messing around with it um, to find what you like. Um, personally. I, I think the candy red with the brown looks really good. Obviously, I'm going to tone down the brown. Uh, on the real car, I think it's called sepia or sepia, however you pronounce it. Um, so we'll do that. And then we'll just tone it down. I think this would be OEM right here. Let's see. Yeah, wow, Jesus. Look at this. This is um, very high quality here. Even the texture on the steering wheel, Jesus. Wow, we did a really good job with this. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Good job, Ubisoft. Okay, and this, yeah, this is not OEM. Yeah, OEM would definitely, well, by OEM, I mean original. That's what that stands for, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> that would definitely be number two. So we'll do that. Interior material. Oh, this is if it makes it like, I think, uh, like suede looking or whatever. Yeah, if you want like the whole dash and suede, I think that's a little, and the door panels and stuff. Yeah, no, I think we'll keep the leather. Oh, and then here you got interior material. You got carbon and then gloss black. The stock one had um like a matte carbon, but you can't keep that if you change the interior color. That kind of sucks. But I guess we'll go with the gloss carbon. Okay. See. Ooh. <laughs> that is beautiful. Man, that, that wide or wide body. That looks so good. Did I install the one on the rear? I guess it's just like the angle. So it looks like I'm missing the one on the rear. Yeah, I did. I did put it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So we did. We did that vanity. That's like all the different different crazy tires and smoke and stuff for those of you who like that. Um, oh, some window tints. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Uh, liveries. So let's go to top 100. So these are the ones that um, different people have made. I'm looking for the blacked out hood roof and trunk. I'm sure somebody made that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this one has it. Why'd they black out the gas cap though? That's that's kind of tacky, but eh, that's fine. They blacked out the door handles too. Very strange, very strange, but I guess it adds some contrast. Why not? All right, we'll do that. Okay, sick. We got that. Upgrade. Um, so just just like the old game, unfortunately, your car is transferred, but your upgrades do not. So you know you gotta grind all that all over again. In this game, you can't just buy parts; you actually have to find them. So and it's kind of like that um, that random performance mod type spawning thing, which is kind of annoying, but it just is what it is. Um, pro settings, if you want to mess around with that. But I mean, this thing has you know 797 horsepower as you can see so it's got plenty of power for us to have some fun so all right let's uh exit here nighttime currently or sun setting 
sounds fantastic. This guy blacked out this the, the tail light so much with this livery that you can't even see, you can barely even see the brake lights. First person. Oof! Look at that. Very nice. Let's get out of the Motorfest area. Oh, a little tunnel bomb action. Sick. Turn, turn, not bad. <laughs> First person. You can hear that whine. Oh, yeah. Seeing this uh, view. Not bad. You can definitely hear the whine. Handling is uh, <laughs> questionable. <laughs> there is a big old boat, so makes sense. Yeah, though, well, this is fun. I like it. I like it. I like it. Explore some of the map as well. Looks pretty good, the detail. Not bad. Oh, I guess I'm tracking one of those um, cars that you can find or whatever. One of those hidden cars? Okay. I'll definitely be looking for those later on. But yeah, no, this thing is sick. I guess let's do like a little bit of a top speed run. Oh, not the longest road, but we'll give it a shot here. Wow, okay, well that didn't take long to get to 200. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Ah, we're gonna have to walk. <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing is sick. Awesome so far. Pretty decent crash damage too. Yeah, the handling is definitely a lot better than the Crew 2 was, that's for sure. A lot less arcadey. It feels more Forza-like. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Very, very good game. I, uh... Wow, great, great job Ubisoft, not gonna lie. They did a fantastic job with this. Um, in terms of the car customization, though, a lot of it, a lot of it is copied over. Um, there's even some glitches that I noticed that they did copy over that I guess they didn't fix. For example, um, this car came stock with red brake calipers, but if you hover over the calipers, um, it will put it to black automatically. It's kind of weird, so. Just little things like that that they didn't fix, but who knows, maybe in a future patch. Um, but yeah, I, I genuinely do like the game. This car is awesome. I absolutely love the Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.